My mom asked me to make her a wall holder for this kitchen mixer and as she already asked for that like five months back, I mean yesterday she asked for that. So obviously I'm starting with that right away. She really likes the concept of my chisel holders and if you take a look at the shape, it's pretty much the same. For the wood I think this piece of oak here should work. I had this piece for quite a while and it has moved a bit since, so I had to bring it back to square again. On this side I want it to be centered in the block and on this side about here. And to be able to hang it in there, like my chisels from the front, I need to cut a slot, something like this into it. And to make sure that this has a decent fit in there, I should also make a cone shape that matches this here. And I'll do all of that with the lathe. So mounting a face plate and roughly centering it. And I'm only using small screws to avoid big holes. They are on the bottom anyway, so nobody will see them. I want to drill all the way through, but with this force bit I would drill into the face plate. So I'll only drill until the point reaches the other end. So about here. So if I grab it with the chuck to that point, I can just drill until the chuck hits the surface. After the hole I turned the cone shape and then the outside, but I didn't really film that because it's not very interesting. But mainly I wanted to enjoy a little bit of turning without always thinking about the camera. So this is all I recorded before I decided to just put that camera away and have some fun. During turning I more and more thought it would look much better if this was the front and this was the back. But to be able to do that I need to glue a piece to this surface here so that here's enough thickness again. And I have this maple offcut here and that should work pretty good and it adds a nice contrast. Alright, so now I have a bowl with the hole and a block. And I'm curious how this will turn out. I really don't know where I'm going with this. But I guess I just keep turning. Right now it would get mounted with this flat spot to the wall like so and I don't know it kind of looks cool and interesting but it's also still a little bulky but the problem is I can't turn away a lot of material here because then I will lose the flat spot. Hmm. I guess I'll just keep turning for a little bit longer. Okay I think I leave it like that. Time for sanding. If you're curious about this little sander, I have a video about it. Now I can take off the face plate. I finished drilling the hole and now I can cut the slot. Now everything that's left is a little bit more shaping and then a finish. I was really amazed about how effective the sandy drum on my Dremel tool worked. And of course a little bit of hand sanding for the video. For the mounting holes I first used a larger bit which makes the screws sit deeper in the wood and also creates a countersink.
Okay, so now with it being finished and mounted, it's perfectly functional and holds the mixer perfectly, really securely, and it's very easy to access. In terms of how it looks, let's say it's definitely something different that I haven't seen anywhere else yet. But to be honest, I'm not really pleased with it. The shape is okay, the wood contrast is good, but the overall look is just not what I had in mind. But my mom likes it, and in this case, that's everything that counts. My mom asked me to make her a wall holder for this kitchen mixer, and... Shit. Now I can take off the faceplate. Oh, and I glued it on.